All right, guys. First off, Happy New Year's. And uh, I just beat this game, but it didn't have any sound because it wasn't playing through my headset like it was supposed to. So we're going to play it again. And uh, it's actually a super dope game. This game is insanely fun. Uh, I won't struggle with as much with the puzzles this time as I did the first time. I'll let this go. Incredible power. Incredible power. Like me have guided many dark mages. Watching them bend reality to their will, I believed dark mages to be the most intelligent and so smart beings. Then I met Morgan. <laughs> Unfazed by failures or my personal oh, call while this is going. One of the most dangerous spells. Cloning magic. The unnatural creation of life. It worked at first, but more clones spawned and more lost control. Dark magic exploded all around us and all faded to black. When we awoke, Morgan was significantly weakened and his clones had destroyed our city. Hi guys, I'll be right back from Port. Well, I'm on my way back from Port Alcohol right now. But yeah, I beat the game and then I like was editing it and I freaking didn't have the game sound going through my headset, so failed me. Yeah. Hope everybody's having a wonderful new year, and I hope your upcoming year will be great as well. I don't know how well you can hear me because I'm all the way over here pulling alcohol, but this should be a pretty speedy run because I know exactly how to beat the game now, so I shouldn't have to do too much editing. But the mechanics in this game were really great. Like, it was really well done. Like some of them were so damn smart with the time rewind and everything. You unlock powers as you beat the bosses. Pretty dope. Let's do this. So your first key that you get is the space key. Guess I should just go. Space key, baby. Yeah. But yeah, the creators who ever made this is like really. This is super cool. The mechanics are super good. You can actually, like, interact. Objects that you throw at other objects actually interact with each other. It shuts whenever I get close to it. What? The dead end? Now we're stuck. You thought we were stuck. If you can't find a way, try making one. Yeah. But watch this. I'm gonna fling one of the barrels into another barrel. It's pretty cool. Grim, there's some, uh, Barrels flying toward us. You better do something. You're a mage. Cost a I am a mage. Alright. Okay. I'm not doing it like I did last time, but you can knock these barrels in. There we go. See, look at that. That's super cool. That's an A plus game design right there. The objects actually hit each other. Pretty actually crazy. No sarcasm intended. Oh, I'm about to jump. Oh, I did jump into the water. Oh, alcohol. That was alcohol speaking. <laughs> oh, wait. Hey, dang checkpoint. Also, this game saves at like really good points. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, fireball. That's always good. Let's see if we can beat this like super quick. Because I know. An X ray potion. X ray you potion. You could use it to find the mechanism that controls the bridge. Voice acting's on point too. Yeah, just... And I think all the voices are done by the same person by the credits that I read at the start. Eh, <laughs> magic, baby! One of my clones. Had to catch these goddamn hands. Careful in dealing with him, Morgan. That there's no telling how dangerous it could be, how incredibly cunning. What's up, nerds? You're a nerd. No. I gotta I deal with this insufferable prick again. Yes, he is. To a couple of nerds? <laughs> yeah, right. I'm here to raise hell and shred the fabric of space time. Here to catch both of these hands, fam. Watch this. I'm gonna pop him so hard. No one calls me a nerd, even though I am one. No one! Boom. Boom. Speedy boy. Hey! What's up? Ready to die, son? Ooh, wait, wait, wait. 
Give me a barrel. Someone send me a barrel. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> I didn't even have to throw but one at him because you ran into him. You're a nerd. Too late to turn back time. Yeah, this guy has turn back time powers and he doesn't use them. What a freaking nerd. <laughs> Real Morgan powers. To say, considering they made off with most of your powers. Well, this thing looks like it'll bring some back. Oh, that's better. I see you've reclaimed some of your time manipulation powers. That's good. I imagine you'll be needing them soon. Watch out, clones. Nothing can stop me now. Nothing. So, this power is not too hard to control, but when you have to mix and match powers, like the next power we're going to get, this one's rewind time power, but the next one we get after this one, plus rewind time power, the telekinesis where you can actually like move objects and stuff instead of just push them, is really hard to use in unison. Like it, not even hard, it's just like you have to use your brain. It's difficult. There was one puzzle that had me pretty good. Shame, truly. It feels like boy. Yeah. Gotta watch out for these things because they're dicks. They already got me. Oh, cool tower. How do God, I get, get off me. Uh, we're in the middle of a crisis, Morgan. Door's blocked. Guess we're taking the elevator. I'd normally advise against taking the elevator during an emergency. Kind of cutting through these cutscenes, but you're not really missing much. Fatal error! But it auto saves. That's like the only complaint about this game is that there's a bunch of fatal errors, but if the game auto saves, I can deal with it. Uh oh. A new game. Yeah. I know this seems a little bit rushed, but I pretty much know exactly what to do, and you're not. This Everything you're missing is just trying to tell you how mechanics work. So basically, I gotta find my way into these holes without dying. By basically using the E orb. Just like that. Head for the grave, but be careful. Isn't it a little early to be digging our own graves already? So the last warning. Deeper than it looks. Now hurry before those cylindrical devils find us. So the main reason these boxes are at the starting point is to let you know that they freeze time when you hit them. Like when you're going to the elevator, it's basically just warning you to do that before you jump down. Because then you'll get wombo comboed by the fire if you don't push them out of the way because they'll slow time on you. Here you use the x-ray potion to basically find your way through the maze and hit all the levers. It doesn't matter if you don't do it on your first try, but I'm definitely not going to do it on my first try. There's one. There's another one in the middle somewhere that I missed because I'm dumb. Where's the other one at? There's like one over here somewhere. There it is. I need one more. It's going to take me two tries. Uh, man, I wish my first game would have like played the actual audio background to it. I had a lot of fun playing through this first time. I'm still having fun playing through it, but I know exactly what I'm doing. Alright, we win. Know how to beat all the bosses, know how to do pretty much everything. Which I guess it makes it a shorter video, so if you're just wondering how to beat certain parts, you got that. But it takes away my killer personality. <laughs> This way. You're a clone, I'm dummy. I'm hideous. A disgusting beast, unworthy of life. I thought this dude was gonna be like fam, but then he turns on me. Watch this. No one as deformed as I should be suffered to live. You brought me into this world. Look, look at this. You'll pay for this with your life. A lot of alcohol. Watch this. I'm gonna one shot his butt. It'll take more than an arrow to be rid of me. Oh, I hit the turn thing on accident. Oops. Oh, 
Come on. Get ready to die, fam. Wait, did he come the other way? Woo! He got me. I thought he came from the left side. Because that's where they... <laughs> okay. Alright, you got me. Oh, did I miss? Chase him down. It'll take more than an arrow to be rid of me. I shot him like three times, to two times on the one time, the uh, last time I fought him. Lame. Feel my pain. What is he doing over here? This is getting hard. Whoa, whoa, whoa. None of this happened last time. What the fuck? Oh my god, he's kicking my ass. This is not... I run, ran this guy last time. No bueno. Burn for what you've done. Got him. Jesus, that went so much better my first time. Lord almighty. Hmm. We brought the A game this time. Jesus Christ. That's the where the game gets actually like hard and you have to think. Maybe you may as well test it first. Try lifting something. Bring that gear here, boy. I need health. So we're approaching like the hardest puzzle of the game. This one struggle bust me for like a hot minute. Not this with the gear, but I'll show you in a second. Pretty difficult. Yeah, I don't know why. I didn't even get to the like crystal part where he's like dropping the crystals on the ground. I didn't even see that last time I beat him so badly. But this time he brought his freaking end game boys. Because I shot him like twice at one time. So this is how you know it's going to start getting hard. Because you got to like... Push this sideways. And then you have to pick it up. And then you rewind time on it. Once you get on top of it, I guess. Probably be a good thing to do is get on top. Ooh, we went too fast. And then we jump. So yeah, it's not too hard. This right here is the hardest puzzle of the game. It is so difficult. Even though I know what I'm doing, it's very easy to die here. Watch this. Like, I didn't even know what to do with these barrels last time. Like, I didn't know you were supposed to shoot the stalactites that are hanging from the roof. Should be able to hit that one from here. There we go. So you gotta jump here. I thought you could drop that stalactite and kill the freaking flamethrower, but you can't do that apparently, unfortunately. So here you have to actually levitate this thing. I did not think about that for the longest. It took me forever to figure this out. But you have to get it like perfect height so you can jump on this one. Oh, first try, baby. Oh, he's trying to kill me. Wait a second now. And you gotta levitate this thing so you can... Oh, too high. Then you gotta jump over here. Yeah, first try. That was so hard for me. I cannot even tell you how hard that was the first time I played through. It took me forever to figure that out. This puzzle, you just have to read the spell book. Watch this. So, you can either get explosive barrel, health if you need it, x-ray vision. I don't know what the x-ray vision does here. That's your spells. 2-2-3-1. Two, two, That's the one we need. 2-2-3-1. And it's gonna drop a barrel, and I'm gonna grab it and be like, haha, I got you, bitch, what's up? And you just gotta drop it on this thing right here by doing this. Easy. And then you grab this time hand and you spin it relentlessly, and it'll eventually do something good for you. Now, this is the part that actually takes like platforming skill. Like, it's not as much about using your spells. You have to use your spells to an extent, but this is a like the. One platforming intensive part. Neglected your flying spell. 
There should be something here to help. Keep your eyes peeled. How do you know, Mr. Grim the Grimoire? How do you know there's something here to help? Huh? Huh? You know something I don't? Huh? You got an inside track with the game creators? Possibly? Oh, fuck! Oh, I know! Oh. <laughs> that was not supposed to happen like that. You're supposed to freeze the top platform, but whatever, it worked. We did it. Genius. Like, this is how you're supposed to do it. I don't know what exactly happened there, but it works for me, I guess. Oh, I'm stupid. Drunk plus platforming skills is not, like, the best combination. This is how it's supposed to work, pretty much. I don't know what happened the first time, but I'll take it. And then you jump here. I don't know what I did last time, but I did not make the jump. And then you just stop time here, jump on this sucker. Release time! And then, oh god, you hope you get on this thing. <laughs> and then you jump on this sucker. If that platform wasn't right there, this would be actually, like, hard to play the- Oh god. This part, you just basically... Do that. Because <laughs> the second and fourth platform come up slow, but you just basically work your way. And then you have the final boss. This is a hard final boss if you don't know what you're doing. Why does he get minions? I died here like four times. You're supposed to be my minion, son. Mm-hmm. When else am I gonna complain? It's final boss. Grimoire. You're a dweeb. Ooh! We got this. We got this. We can do it. Just gotta believe. We're gonna do this without taking any damage. He's laser beaming me in the butt! Shit! <laughs> oh, that sucked. Oh, alcohol's too strong. Okay, we got this. Easy mode. So there's a couple things to keep aware of while you're fighting this boss. Even if you know what you're doing, you have to make sure you don't pause while you have the x-ray going because it'll just keep ticking. And even though you still have time when you unpause, it won't let you do it. So you gotta be careful for that. Your x-ray time still goes while you pause the game. And then another thing you gotta watch out for is being like stuck when he uses his laser beam attack. Because he will murder you. <laughs> Let me show you like right here, I was super stuck and it was the second attack, which is where he uses the laser beam. And he murdered me. Brutally, and I was so sad. I've died on him twice. Even though I know exactly how to beat this. Because there's certain attacks he does where you are going to take damage. Also, last time he repaired the bell, but he didn't take the debris off this place, so I couldn't get my health back, which was really messed up. Oh, I should have got the health, but I'm dumb. I'm gonna get the health right now, though. I can. <coughs> While he's trying to laser beam me. Cause this is where he uses the laser beam attack because he's a cocksucker. <laughs> Dance. Damn laser beam attack. Look at this shit. It's so annoying. Oh my god. We got you now, son. What's up? Send me some barrels. Oh, what do we do here? Damn, yeah, well, that's risky business, baby. We still almost messed up. It's crazy. Enough. One more hit and we win. Alcohol, too strong, bro. And you're doing like a... This last boss is super like platforming slash puzzle. This is like the perfect mash of like what this game is supposed to be. You have to platform, you have to use the abilities correctly. It's pretty crazy. It's really well made. Got you now, son. If I can get out of these barrels. Got 
Got you. Ooh, one more hit, baby, and we win. He's got three attacks he does here. The pumpkin attack and the laser beam attack. You just gotta dodge it and you win here. Let's see if I can do it without messing up for once. Run, run, or you'll be well done. I wish I could shoot that pumpkin back at him, but I can't. This is the attack right here you gotta avoid if you can, but it's pretty impossible to dodge. One more hit. Drop me a barrel, baby. Drop me a barrel. Yes. Woohoo, we win. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, it feels good to have And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your new year. From this experience. You ended up cursing the city and nearly got us both killed. Relax, Grim. We're alive, aren't we? Yeah. And besides, I'll do better next time. Next time? We're gonna do it again. And if you guys like videos like these, please like and subscribe. I'm gonna play this till the end of the credits because these creators deserve all the props they can get. It was really well made. Super done, super awesome game. The only thing you have to worry about is an unknown error, but it auto saves, so it's not a big deal for real. Some of these puzzles are really well done. The voice acting is pretty on point. Um, I wish it was a bigger game. But that's because of how well done it was. Like, they put some thought into these puzzles and everything. It's really... The bo last boss fight is like the perfect combination of platformer slash puzzle. I know I made it look a little bit easy because I'm going to edit out my two deaths to the final boss. And I played through it once already. But my sound didn't go through my headset, so I had to play through it again. So, but... It was a really good game. You like... Oh, I already said that. That's just, after the credits, there's nothing after the cutscene, but I'll go back to straight to the game, and bye!